Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 8, Thoughts. This episode is called The Last Day. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to including this episode. Not for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. The episode is rated TV-14. So will this video be Let's Dive Right In. So yeah, throughout this episode, we keep seeing these you know, jumbled up memories that, that Robin has where, you know, it's certain things are just slightly off, you know, clearly can't completely be the, the yeah, very, very nicely done, good device to show, you know, that, yeah, which, you know, she struggled with this when she was a kid. This is, what, 74 years later, yeah, of course, it's it's difficult for her to, to keep track of all of it, considering the conditions she's been living under for so long, especially. We get another very sweet reunion, and I like that, you know, Deke is like, you, this is your plane? Oh, wow, must have been amazing to fly. Oh, I'm, I'm the engineer, I, I didn't fly, I'm not the pilot. Oh. That's pretty cool, I, I guess. <laughs> and I have to wonder if that's like based on like maybe one of the actors, you know, approached the writer for this episode and was like, "I had this ridiculous encounter with a fan. Can you write this in?" Because that sounds like something that a fan said to to an actor that is like. You know, I, I really loved that, that thing where, you know, and, and they, maybe the fan references something that's like writing and not acting. And, and yeah, the actor has to explain, well, no, I mean, it's absolutely great writing, but I wasn't responsible for that. I, I just, I took what's on the page, and, you know, and then, I, oh, can I, can I meet the writer then? And, yeah, Cassius sends Sonara. After Daisy, very tense, and yeah, the Cree take away people's resources and get them to, you know, to hate each other, to to blame, you know, yeah, very reminiscent. You know, th again, this is something that's actually happened in real life. You know, the IDF has limited Palestinians' access to resources. And let's see, yeah, we see the the one of the pieces of the the what's it called the the monolith, you know. And I like you know. It was really only in retrospect. It was when Deke confronted Voss that I realized, oh, that's why, well, you know, at first it sounds like Voss is like, I mean, don't get your hopes up, this is the only piece we have, but no, he's trying to convince Coulson to leave the piece with him because he he doesn't want Deke to know, because Deke will indeed realize what, yeah. And it is legitimately kind of sweet Daisy trying to reassure Deke, you know, your dad doesn't hate you, he, d he probably just wants to make up for lost time. And... Let's see... Yeah, and, and Enoch talking about Robin. And this thing of, you know, yeah, he got some information because he stayed with her for, for several days. And it's this thing of, you know, that's not... They, they, they don't have that kind of time right now. They, they really need... You know, yeah. Like, it, they they didn't watch that scene of Sonara heading out to, to like, like we, the, the viewer, did, but, yeah, you know, of course they did. It's not, there's only so many places that they could have gone. It's just a matter of time before they're, they're found, especially with the technology that the, the Kree have at their disposal. And... Another shotgun axe, and I like this thing, you know, doesn't the axe make it harder to shoot? Makes it easier to chop heads off. And, yeah, we see that the roaches have killed a number of, of people. I, I really appreciate, so, the episode before this one made it sound as though, like, 
the the uh, the agents would have to deal with Relnexians on level three, and ultimately, no, the there were you know the Relnexians were sent to. Uh, I am I'm one hundred percent sure what number it is, but the other le the, the level where a bunch of people were living, you know, ultimately the agents still had to deal with Relnexians, but not on level three. So so very nicely, you know, they they set up something and they delivered something slightly different without like letting us down. And yeah, we learn about the the implant. Basically, they can't right now do anything with it. And I appreciate that, you know, after that, Daisy goes to to try to see if she can, you know, help Robin help them. You know, and you know, you you we did, we're not sitting there thinking, why didn't she just do that immediately? Well, they had to check the implant. You know, they they had to get her to the medical place, you know. And now they've determined we need a neurosurgeon, we need equipment. We don't have these things. There's nothing we can do right now. And let's see. Um, yeah, I I like the repeated line. Now is not the time, you know, because it is this thing of she doesn't. She's struggling to keep apart the different timelines and and yeah you know she saw the, there's that thing where you know <clears throat> Flint hasn't been born for 50 years you know and yeah very tense when Deke confronts Voss and it does make perfect sense you know yeah Deke's father would not you know give up the the rock it was so precious to him so cool when Elena very quickly takes out a room of relic scenes, which is the new room full of vampires, by the way, and just, yeah, it's really, really cool. She, you know, running around, putting the, the little thing on all of them, and then activating them. And I like that Mac is now referring to Flint as Pebbles. And... Yeah, and the you know Fitzsimmons are are locked inside the the room, so that's why, you know, yeah, very, very clever. And and you have them, you know, if you don't fight back, you don't have to die. Yikes. And and yeah, we see some video. It does look like maybe Daisy did it, but. Based on, I, I can't help but wonder if Flint is, at the very least, part of it. You know, his his powers could certainly be used for the, the world destroying. And after, you know, we, we don't hear it, but May hears what Robin whispers. And afterwards, May asks, who's Flint? So, yeah. The, at, at the very least, he must be important for those to be her, her dying words. And, yeah, and we're told, you know, the, they're stuck in a time loop. And, and yeah, uh, Voss stabs Robin to, to keep her from getting to Daisy. And, let's see... Um, yeah, we learned that May, you know, at least to to Robin, she, May raised her and love when Elena frees the slaves and we close on Sinara making progress. Yeah, very, very cool. Really... Yeah, that's definitely going to be a significant challenge for our team. So according to IMDb Trivia, the reason the two young Robins look so alike is they're played by real-life sisters. Great when they can do that. 
And if you're, if you like me, only recently started watching the show, if you haven't watched the entire show, do not uncover the spoiler. I, I, you know, I'm working on forgetting what I, what I saw, but that was definitely a spoiler for later in the show, not for this point. I really think IMDb needs to, to update that because, like, sometimes it's a spoiler for a different thing. I get that, you know, okay, it's a show, so it's a spoiler for later in the show, but there's, like, movies where it's not just a spoiler for that movie, it's also a spoiler for a different movie. Now, I like Mac calling Cree the Blue Man Group, and... Yeah, um, I should be able to do an episode tomorrow. Looks like you uh, had a rough landing. Yeah, can't recommend the airline. Inexperienced pilot, lots of turbulence, ran out of pretzels and coach.